I hear everyone's going crazy for this new anime trailer release. Now the manga called Gacha Kuta. Not sure if I'm saying that right. I hear that this is like Shonen Jump uh, series that's competing with the names of like Sakamoto Days and Dan Da Dan Dan, you know, the other two series that's also had huge trailers and huge prep for it. So I haven't really, honestly, the last time I've read Shonen Jump was like fucking when Naruto was still airing back then. So I don't know what the state of Shonen Jump is recently, but I hear this is like the new modern big three. Is that accurate to call it? I don't know. Let's check it out. Crawl back from the abyss of hell to change this lousy world. So we got a super edgy, angry main character. Revenge story? 2025. Studio Bones! That's pretty good, right? Studio Bones is, I think, pretty safe. Haven't they done really good works in the past before? The different um, uh, animation here, like the different frames, it's really trippy. It looks like I'm going through a fucking acid trip right here. Is this how the manga is drawn? Okay. I'm sure that all these different director names, I'm very ignorant of like what good directors names are. And like, I, I know like um, music composers, like Hiroki Sawano's great, Yuki Kaijura, amazing, right? But directors and more other stuff, stuff like that, I'm not really sure, but are these like insane titles working on this project? Crazy visuals. Twenty twenty five. I mean, obviously, the whole premise of this is overthrow the status quo and change the world. So it sounds like some kind of crazy revenge story for kids to get hyped up on. But the visuals looks really fucking trippy, right? It looks really kind of dark as well. And obviously, this is just the first PV. This isn't even like an actual real trailer either. So I'm sure as the month progress, we're gonna get more trailers just like Dan to Dan and. I'll be covering them and maybe during 2025, you know, we'll have a shonen audience to watch it, but that's it for me.